everybody has their card for sea loss. Good morning, everyone. Let us stand now and offer this novena to Blessed Francis Xavier Silas to pray for the vocation of priesthood and our own vocation called holiness. And also, we pray for healing through the intercession of our Silas here, the redemptive missionary, that uh, we also heal. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Lord, have mercy on us. Lord, have mercy on us. Christ graciously hear us. Blessed Francis Xavier Silos, Francis Pattern of Cheerfulness, Francis Lover of Labors, Francis Model of Confessors, Francis Gentle Refuge of Penitents, Francis Example to Seminarians, Francis, Master of Poverty. Francis, Pillar of Peacefulness. Francis, Comfort of the Sick. Francis, Companion of the Dying. Francis, Parian of Holiness. Together, oh my God, I truly believe you are present with me. I adore your limitless perfections. I thank you for the graces and gifts you gave to the blessed Francis Xavier Silos. If it is your holy will, please let him be declared saint of the church so that others may know and imitate his holy life. Through his prayers, please give me this favor. Together, divine physician, you infuse Blessed Francis Xavier Silos with the gift of your healing by the help of his prayers, sustaining me the grace to know your will and the strength to overcome my afflictions. For love of you, make me whole. May I learn from the example of Father Silos and gain comfort from his patient endurance. Amen. After Mass, I will bless you with the relics of Francis Xavier Silos uh, for all those who like to be healed. And also, uh, every Thursday we have adoration, so we have a whole hour here. I want to use that hour for confession, so everybody who wants to have a confession also for Thursdays is a good day for it too. Uh, I'd like you to uh, sing with me number eight. 28 in a Gata book, I am the bread of life. It's 828. As we celebrate the feast of Saint Scholastica, a twin sister of Saint Benedict today. I am the bread of life. You who come to me shall not hunger, and who believe in me shall not thirst. No one can come to me unless the Father beckons, and I will raise you up, and I will And I will raise you up on the last day. 
in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The Lord be with you. Today, as we celebrate St. Scholastica, monastic sister or nun who founded that monastic uh, monastery with her twin brother, St. Benedict, and we pray for our contemplative prayerfulness in each one of us. We need all that. I need that. I'm an excited guy, always going and going. I need some of that in my life as I'm doing what I'm doing here to collect all the wisdom of God. We need that to see the connectedness in our world today. And so at this moment, let us offer this beautiful Mass to pray for ourselves and also Today, we pray for the souls of Mary Lee Harper, who gave us quite a bit after she passed away uh, to build up our community here. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts, in my words, in what I have done, in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Let us pray. As we celebrate anew the memory of the Virgin Saint Scholastica, we pray, O Lord, that following her example, we may serve you with pure love and happily receive what comes from loving you. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated to listen to the word of God. A reading from the first book of Kings. When Solomon was old, his wives had turned his heart to strange gods, and his heart was not entirely with the Lord his God, as the heart of his father David had been. By adoring Astarte, the goddess of the Sidonians, and Melcom, the idol of the Amorites, Solomon did evil in the sight of the Lord. He did not follow him unreservedly as his father David had done. Solomon then built a high place in Shemos, the idol of Moab, and to Molech, the idol of the Amorites, on the hill opposite Jerusalem. He did the same for all his foreign wives who burned incense and sacrificed to their gods. The Lord therefore became angry with Solomon because his heart was turned away from the Lord, the God of Israel, who had appeared to him twice. For, through, for though the Lord had forbidden him, this very act of following strange gods, Solomon did not obey him. So the Lord said to Solomon, Since this is what you want, and you have not kept my covenant and my statutes which I enjoined on you, I will deprive you of the kingdom and give it to your servant. I will not do this during your lifetime, however, for the sake of your father David. It is your son whom I will deprive nor will I take away the whole kingdom. I will leave your son one tribe for the sake of my servant David and of Jerusalem, which I have chosen. The word of the Lord. 
Thanks be to God. The Responsorial. Remember us, O Lord, as you favor your people. Remember us, O Lord, as you favor your people. Blessed are they who observe what is right, who do always what is just. Remember us, O Lord, as you favor your people. Visit us with your saving help. Remember us, O Lord, as you favor our people. But they mingled with the nations and learned their works. They served the idols, which became a snare for them. Remember us, O Lord, as you favor your people. They sacrificed their sons and their daughters to demons, and the Lord grew angry with his people and abhorred his inheritance. Remember us, O Lord, as you favor your people. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Humbly welcome the word that has been planted in you and is able to save your souls. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Jesus went to the district of Tyre. He entered a house and wanted no one to know about it but he could not escape notice. Soon a woman whose daughter had an unclean spirit heard about him. She came and fell at his feet. The woman was a Greek, a subtle Phoenician by birth, and she begged him to drive the demon out of her daughter. He said to her, let the children be fed first for it is not right to take the food of the children and throw it to the dogs. She replied and said to him, Lord, even the dogs under the table eat the children's scraps. Then he said to her, For saying this, you may go. The demon has gone out of your daughter. When the woman went home, she found the child lying in bed and a demon gone. The gospel, the good news of the Lord. Praise you, Lord Jesus. God is powerful. Sometimes I told people that God is beyond religion with the plural, religions. Sometimes we think God is just inside the church, under the law, and we create it sometimes. But God is powerful. Think about the first reading today, Solomon, remember, he asked for wisdom when he was young, became king. And then when he get a little bit older, he worshiped different gods. God was not very happy with it. The thing is, he, he didn't punish him his lifetime, but he punished his younger, which his children. Ooh, sometimes we think we survived. Sometimes we think we escaped from God. Sometimes we think we're okay here, but are we truly okay? One time, a woman asked me to come to her house, to bless her house, a Filipina. And of course, as a Catholic priest, she showed me a shrine, an altar of a Catholic God, if you will. So we have Mary there, and then we have Jesus somewhere there. 
after I blessed that altar, she said, Father, could you bless the other altar too, which is a lucky Buddha on that corner right there, that she believed that that lucky Buddha protected her. Maybe you say, I don't have other gods. I have only one God. But you know, we worship different gods these days. God of pleasure. God of money. God of power. You name it. You know what I'm talking about. Like God of sugar. God of food. We love all these things. But we're not careful that the gods we love. Going to the gospel today, that woman maybe had no association with Jesus from religion standpoint to culture to language. And she just like a dog under the table. Now today, American culture here, we treat dogs like, of course, like pets and Bobby, and sometimes we worship our dog too. We want to take care of our dog even more than our human being. Pope Francis had to speak up on that. Some families, some couples, they don't want to have children, but they like to raise their dog as their puppy. But today, even that kind of a dog even that kind of second, third citizen in that Jewish tradition, Jesus said, we don't want to just throw the food to the, to the dog, but let first feed the children. And she so courageously, faith-filled, patiently, humbly said that even the dogs under the table could eat the scraps from the master's table. My brothers and sisters, sometimes we need to be humble, patient, and courageous when we go and pray to God. And if we do so, God will continue to bless us. Maybe not this generation, but a generation after us. I always believe my vocation today comes from my parents and my grandparents' lives. I remember my cardiologist when I was one year old or two years old, I was born with heart defect. My cardiologist told my parents, if you live a good life, your son will live more than 15 years old. I'm 49 right now. And by the time I'm 24, I decided to go to seminary to serve God's people because I thought I overlive the limit. And I always believe that my life and my vocation because of my parents, they live the good life for me. And so hopefully today, don't just live for ourselves to go to heaven. That's, that's so cheap. That's so selfish. Let us live for others as well, especially for our children and grandchildren. And some of us have even great grandchildren. Amen. Let us stand now and offer to God a few prayers from our heart. We pray for our church today, from our Pope Francis, all the spiritual leaders and civil leaders, that they have compassion and mercy toward the people who need even more today. We pray to the Lord. We pray for our church here in our Baton Rouge Diocese, especially in this community, that church and school always look out to the minority or the marginalized in our midst. We pray to the Lord. 
What else should we pray today? Lord, hear our prayers. Lord, hear our prayers. Lord, hear our prayers. Lord, hear our prayers. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. I'd like to pray for all our benefactors and friends who support our mission here, especially the souls of Mary Lee Harper and his and her family. We pray to the Lord. Loving and gracious God, we thank you for giving us these beautiful lives to live. Help us to live fully as you wish for us every day. We ask all this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are the Lord God of our creation. To your goodness we have received this bread to offer you food of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God. Blessed are you, Lord God of our creation, to your goodness we have received this wine to offer you. Fruit of the vine, work of human hands, it will become for us the spiritual drink. Blessed be God. Pray, my sisters and brothers, that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, our loving Father. As we proclaim your wonders, O Lord, in the Virgin Blessed Scholastica, we humbly implore your majesty that as her merits are pleasing to you, so too our dutiful service may find favor in your sight through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For in the saints who consecrated themselves to Christ for the sake of the kingdom of heaven, it is right to celebrate the wonders of your providence by which you call human nature back in its original holiness and bring it to the experience on this earth the gifts you promise in a new world to come. And so with all the angels and saints, we praise you as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending out your spirit upon them like a dewfall, so that it may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and ill, willing into his passion, he took bread and gave them thanks, broke it, and gave it to the disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you.
in a similar way when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more given thanks. He gave it to disciples saying, take this all of you and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of a new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, given thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that for taking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Michael Gerard, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember your servant, Mary Lee Harper, whom you have called from this world to yourself. Grant that she who was united with your son in a death like his might also be one with him in his resurrection. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that will the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, blessed Joseph, her spouse, blessed apostles, Saint Scholastica, blessed Silas, and all the saints have pleased you throughout the ages. We may marry to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Humbly standing under God and ask God for that mercy, healing, not just for ourselves, but maybe for our friends, for our loved ones, our Father, in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ, for the kingdom, the power, and the glory. Lord Jesus Christ said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us share with each other the sigh of peace. Lamb of God, take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold, the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who call to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be.
May the body and blood of Christ keep us safe for eternal life. Amen. The body and blood of Christ. The body and blood of Christ. Body and blood of Christ. May God be with you and bless you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Body and blood of Christ. The body and blood of Christ. body and blood of Christ. Amen. The body and blood of Christ. Amen. The body and blood of Christ. Amen. The body and blood of Christ. Amen. Communion to find today. There is one thing I ask of the Lord, only this do I seek, to live in the house of the Lord all the days of my life. Let us pray. Renew by partaking of this divine gift, we pray, O Lord our God that by the example of blessed scholastica, bearing in our body the death of Jesus, we may strive to hold fast to you alone, through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. The Mass is ended. Let us go in peace and joy. So we have a blessing of um, the relic of Silos right after this. So could you come to forward? <laughs>